Hey friends, today we are hanging out at the Magic Kingdom. It is such a beautiful day. We just got over a very rainy weekend and I wanted to come out and try some of the new snacks and food items that they have throughout the park, including the beignets over in Frontierland. And I figured I'd make a little video. So we're gonna ride some rides, eat some food and have a fun little fancy Magic Kingdom kind of day. Anywho, let's go do this. It is such a beautiful day out today, and it's also a holiday. It's actually President's Day, so it might be a little bit busy in the park, but I'm excited to be back home, back home in Florida. It being President's Day weekend and uh, coming off of a very rainy weekend, like I said, uh, the park is super busy today, but honestly, I kind of just want to relax. I mean, today is President's Day. You know, I don't want to rush around, get all the rides in. I'm just here to snack, try some of the food, and kind of take it easy. It kind of shows you that even if the park is busy, it doesn't mean you have to have like a busy, you know, rushy rush day. Like even in the busiest times, if you just take your time, hang out, you kind of have like a nice chill day that's what i'm gonna try to do kind of have a nice chill day on a busy holiday at the magic kingdom what is going on with the wait times today it's a monday and these wait times are crazy long look at this the barnstormer 45 minutes buzz 50 minutes dumbo dumbo's a 55 minute wait look at enchanted tales with bell that's a show 60 minutes hey yo I just got back from my trip to California and I went to Disneyland a couple of days and I loved it there. It was a total different pace, especially coming back to, it looks like it's a pretty busy day in the parks today. So uh, yeah, I'm still happy to be home, but I'm wearing my Disneyland uh, little sweatshirt because I do miss Disneyland a little bit, a little bit. I think I'm gonna make my way down to Frontierland to go get those beignets I've been seeing a lot of. Oh look, you got the band actually coming out right now. Bubbles? Yo, this is actually awesome. This is a way to walk into a park. <laughs> As a lot of you guys probably know, Splash Mountain closed and is now going to be turned into Tiana's Bayou Adventure. Well, it's already uh, started. Like, Tiana's Bayou Adventure is coming along so well. Disney just released some uh, little live videos of the animatronic, and it looks so impressive. And I definitely want to check that out a little bit later on. But uh, the reason I'm bringing that up is because the beignets, there's a lot of gossip about a New Orleans square coming here to Florida, like uh, kind of in the back there area now that we have tiana's famous beignets over there it's kind of like oh is disney testing this out i mean those uh, beignets aren't on the menu permanently that is for the celebrate soulfully it ends at the end of this month but uh, it's just kind of a coincidence and i think it is possible they have a lot of space here they can definitely bring a new orleans square to the magic kingdom here in florida they have this little street or road back here or actual passage to Frontierland. And I feel like Adventureland ends right here. And then this is like a passage that takes you to Frontierland. And then they have this little tavern over here where they have some quick snacks. And it's actually really well themed, but it's very big on the inside. So anything past that could be Adventureland. And this could all be uh, like a New Orleans Square kind of area. I mean, they have enough space for it. And this is where they're selling the beignets look at the line of people obviously it's popular the people want beignets and like you could literally make this into like little shops and market and it goes right to tiana's bayou adventure they used to have a McDonald's stand here. They used to sell French fries from McDonald's back here. I really feel like this would be perfect because you're not taking away anything except for this stand that's already kind of selling just chicken tenders, French fries. And like you can keep both Adventureland and Frontierland and just make a nice little area. You know what I mean? I think it would be, I, I love Disneyland, like I mentioned. And one of my favorite things there is New Orleans Square and the fact that you can get beignets in the Magic Kingdom. And now we get to get beignets here, but these ones aren't going to be the real ones. These are just temporarily until until they actually make an announcement. You know what I mean? If they do. This is all just speculation and kind of wishes, you know? Here is a look at the regular menu. It doesn't have the beignets on them, but it's down here for Celebrate Soulfully. Tiana's famous beignets. And here they are. Look at that. Tiana's famous beignets. I brought them down to Tiana's Bayou Adventure right here. So I figured I'd come down and snack on them 
and uh, what's going to be soon uh, the home to Tiana's Foods coming soon so maybe along with that a beignet shop right down here at the bottom I mean I can see it I can see it maybe there's no way uh, for me not to get powdered sugar on me like there's no way this is not going to happen I'm going to try to mm. well they are fluffy and good? buttery flaky they're actually pretty good beignets and I did pretty good. Look at that. Not too much sugar. <laughs> and I've got to try them. You gotta try them. The best way to get rid of all the powdered sugar is to just kind of shake it off. Yep, that's good. They're definitely not your traditional beignets, but they're worth the try. I mean, it's unique. It's buttery, flaky, baked in a buttery, flaky, croissant lakey. Like a croissant like he been near ye. But I, I don't know how to explain it. It's good though. This is so cozy sitting back here. If you guys don't know where exactly I am, I think this used to be the Briar Patch like gift shop. And then it's right underneath the uh, the uh, Frontierland train station. And I remember they used to have rocking chairs, but can you imagine just sitting back here all themed to like New Orleans like square or Tiana's Palace eating beignets, sitting on a rocking chair? Here is a look at Tiana's Bayou Adventure. They have water flowing back through there. And I've also saw videos of the different uh, log flumes coming down. It's looking like it's coming along so fast, especially at the top there. And the animatronic video that they put out, you got to check it out. I mean, I'm excited. I think it's going to look so beautiful at night. It's going to light up so amazing. And you're going to be able to see it from uh, probably the beginning of Adventureland enough of the beignet business but seriously those beignets are good and they're only going to be here for a little bit longer uh that's not going to be I, I would highly doubt that that's going to be the exact thing that we would ever get if they did put beignets here so you got to try them if you're here for the next couple of days and now uh, let's go hang out in frontier land and uh, maybe get ourselves something else to snack on a bunch of snacks today snacky snack as I was walking through Frontierland, I found one of those rocking chairs that I was talking about. Look at this. Oh, a single chair. I don't mind if I do. Now I wish I saved my beignets. This would have been nice and cozy. You can always count on me to go run and sit down on a rocking chair when I see one's open. You got to take the chance to take five, especially comfortably. And now I think we're going to make our way up uh, to uh, Liberty Square here. It is President's Day. Hall of Presidents is probably going to be a busy. And, uh, oh, maybe want to get a snack over at Sleepy Hollow, see what they got going on there. I was going to get something from Sleepy Hollow, but then I remembered that the Harbor House has a Boston cream pie and also a New England uh, shrimp boil. So I think I'm actually going to go get that. I haven't eaten there in a long time either. They have some construction going on the outside of uh, the Columbia Harbor House. And also the Haunted Mansion wait is back here. Looks like it's a long wait. But uh, yeah, here it is. I like coming here because there's a little dining room up in between there. You can actually sit there and eat. It's really nice. And the inside's very pretty. I hope we can uh, actually uh, browse around a little bit. I used the mobile order, so they're prepping our order as we speak. Look how cool it is in here. It looks kind of like a little ship. And I think uh, this is how we get upstairs, is up here in the corner here. Tell me this isn't really cozy. You just come up them steps there and you can find yourself a nice little table over here by the Flying Dutchman. Got myself a nice little shrimp boil, Boston cream pie, and uh, I can keep an eye on the Haunted Mansion. See how long the wait time is. This is a cozy little spot. This shrimp boil is actually a pretty good deal. Look at this. Two dinner rolls, potatoes, shrimp, corn on the cob, sausage, a little bit of everything. A little, not too much seasoning there on that potato. I don't see any seasoning at all. I'm going to give it a go though. 
you know, this is just a quick service restaurant inside a theme park. So I wasn't expecting like the most flavorful, you know what I mean, boil. But uh, I was hoping for a little bit more than a little bit more than what's on that potato there. I'm going to try the sausage, though. And maybe I'm just not getting enough of the, the juice. Maybe I got to get down there. Maybe I got to put that potato down there. Let me put this potato down here. And we got some corn on the cob, too. Oh, well, I do have to say, at least it is a really nice alternative option to what you would normally get inside the park. So I'm happy with it. The corn is probably, the corn and the sausage are my favorite. Uh, but now I want to get to this, this little dessert right here. This little bad boy. I keep on looking out here to see how things are. The Haunted Mansion. Just people watching. You know how I be. I was enjoying my time up there next to the uh, Flying Dutchman, but I wanted to bring the Boston cream pie down here. Uh, eat it with a little view. We actually went from right, uh, we were kind of like right up there uh, to down here by the creek. Catch a kitty creek. I'm kind of impressed on how chill today has been. Even though it's like such a busy day in the park, us just walking around, snacking, it's actually been a really nice, relaxful day for me. And now I get to eat some Boston cream pie on top of a trash can in Fantasyland. Hey, how are you? Good, how are you? <laughs> That's pretty good. Yeah, no, it's pretty good. I love it. <laughs> Yo, I love this. And I love that it's in like a hard plastic container so you don't have to like mess around with it. But this is really, really cool. And this is like, like I said, so cozy just hanging out here. Just relaxing. I got some fish down there. We're coming up to what I believe is the most congested area in all of Magic Kingdom. In between, it's a small world and Peter Pan. Gets very tight around here. It's very important to stay calm. <laughs> Gotta use your bob and weave. Oh, so sorry about that, man. Even though it's super busy, like I said, I'm still having actual fun. I'm having a great day just going around, grabbing a little snack here, a little snack there, no pressure. I look at the wait times, like uh, it looked like It's a Small World was 45 minutes, Peter Pan was like 65 minutes, and I'm like, oh, you know what, I'll go to Pinocchio's. I'm gonna see what they got over there, and they do got stuff. They got a special peach cobbler and a key lime pie tart. So uh, we're gonna get a key lime pie tart and a peach cobbler and hang out, and just kinda let people watch from the top. Ooh. It's that time. I was gonna sit upstairs in my normal spot, but it looks like someone's sitting up there. It's not a secret spot anymore, but I'm here, I'm comfy here. I got a nice view I'll show you in a second, uh, but here it is. <laughs> the peach cobbler, look at that. It's so, look, I love it. You got a little candy with uh, Princess Tiana. This is for Celebrate Soulfully, uh, the special that they're doing uh, all month long. It ends, I think, probably the 29th. Um, but this is the key lime tart, and this is just something they had on the menu that I've never got to try before. So I got a fancy both of them. Uh, I guess I'll start with this. Yeah, let's start with the cobbler first. I like how it's looking nice and, like, bountiful. Look at that. Holy moly. A little peach cobbler. Don't mind if I do. They should have a cobbler here every single like month and have a different flavor for like whatever special like is going on. I'd be all on for that because Pinocchio's making good cobbler. I don't even know they can do that. And this is the view I was talking about before. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? I'm just hanging out here eating cobbler and looking at the castle. Cobbler and castle. That's delicious. Takes me back to Georgia. 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 Enough of the cobbler. <laughs> That's going to be hard to beat. But here's the key lime tart. Key lime, key lime pie tart. Ooh, that was my uh, spoon. I think I broke my spoon. I was trying to cut it into like a little... Well, that'll work. That's pretty good too. Both of these ended up being shockingly amazing. Like, I enjoyed everything. In fact, I could do like a little key lime... A little key lime peach cobbler. If I had a, a spoon that worked. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. It's a, a little spoon. They call me a little spoon. Little 
turtle spoon. We're gonna keep walking through Fantasyland, but take a look at the uh, lightning lane for uh, Seven Doors Mine Train. I think it's a 105 minute standby line, and uh, it's, I think it's got like four or five switchbacks there, just in lightning lane alone. This is just lightning lane. I don't even wanna see what it's gonna be like <laughs> for the standby. Holy moly, it got busy over here real quick. It's like a nightmare. That is pretty crazy that the lightning lane for Seven Doors Mine Train is that long. And that's like an individual lightning lane. So you had to purchase that one just on its own, I believe. And that's like even crazier because you'd probably be looking, if it's a standby wait, it's a 105 minute wait. That lightning lane probably would be like a 30 minute wait. I mean, so like if you have to ride the ride right now, at least you're not waiting 105 minutes, but are you willing to pay like $20, $30 for it? I was going to go ride the people mover, but it looks like it's closed at the moment. We'll wait. Are they just opening it back up? Oh, wow. We might have got lucky here. Yeah, because look, it's like a 15, 20 minute wait for Carousel Progress. Looks like they're just opening up the line for people mover. Oh, fancy that. This is the end of the line. Oh, well, that worked out. In a calm, orderly fashion, we're all just walking on to the people mover. Just as I walked up to. Can always count on the people mover for a nice little break. Now we get to do some uh, people watching while we're people moving. This is the TTA Blue Line, non stop service around tomorrow. Now there's a wait, look at that. We got lucky, we walked right on. Wow, what a beautiful day. Holy moly. Greetings intergalactic travelers. Welcome aboard the People Mover, presented by Enterprise. I'm rolling through the future. I buy two of my favorite spots. Wow. Our right is Star Traders, home to the greatest goods in the galaxy. Except actual stars. I wonder if they have my quarter zip I've been looking for down there. Hey, how are you? Ooh! This is Starboard 75. Thank you. That's what I needed. A nice little ride on the people mover. I feel great now. In fact, it's actually so nice out. I might run home and uh, maybe let Gracie out and then uh, maybe uh, keep the video going and then uh, go get something to eat. A little dinner a little bit later on tonight. It's really cool living so close to the Magic Kingdom. If I put my address in right here, it probably tell me I'm about a 10 minute drive or maybe a 30 minute walk. And that's just crazy to me. Like I could literally be at my house in 30 minutes from Cinderella Castle and walk there. Now technically, you know, you really can't, but uh, I mean, it's just amazing. Like just to see where exactly we are. Right outside this little bubble, there's a whole nother like area that everyone just lives and they do their shopping and they go to the bakery and they walk the dog. I was actually looking for one of these maps just so I can kind of show you what I was talking about before. As you can see, this little back patch here, this is where they are selling the beignets and this is Tiana's Bayou Adventure right here. And the two colors mean Adventureland and Frontierland. They can literally just keep Frontierland right up to this bridge point and let it go straight back to Big Thunder Mountain. And then over here, this whole section could be New Orleans Square. And it's the same, like it has its own entrance. Entrance and exit. Isn't that, I mean, it's possible. 
I think I'm going to mosey on out of the Magic Kingdom now. Like, it's a beautiful day. I kind of want to go home, hang out with Gracie a little bit. And like I said, maybe have a little dinner, bring you guys along with us. I don't know. You know, I love being able to be so close to the parks because then that's also like where you go out and you check restaurants. You go meet up with your friends. And I don't know. We'll see. It is so beautiful out that I think I'm going to actually walk back. It's a nice little walkway alongside the Grand Floridian here that you can take. Look at that. I'm actually uh, doing a fun little adventure at the Grand Floridian that I can't wait to share with you guys later on. Probably in uh, the next video I post. But now I'm going to take a little walk. Look how beautiful this is. See, I like it. The sun is really red in my eyes though. I'm blinded. I'm blinded by the sun. I really love it back here. This is a cozy little walk. I'm pretty sure that's the boat I would have been catching if I wanted to take the boat instead of walk. So, <laughs> I mean, we're right on, right on schedule, right on time. It's probably gonna beat me there though. It's only got that little distance. Well, that's kind of cool. Things you see on the walkway to the Grand Floridian. You get to the bridge here and you can actually see the water pageant back there sleeping. Ooh, this bridge makes a lot of noise. Kind of scary. You can see you got some nice little wildlife down there. Nice little birds. This is so beautiful here. And at night they close this walkway so that the uh, water pageant actually can come out. So the water pageant can come out and play. There she is, Gracie girl. You wanna go for a nice little walk? Huh, you wanna go for a walk? There you go, Gracie, come on. Don't pay attention to strangers on the other side of the fence that just hey, stand there. <laughs> She's like, let me do my business. What are you doing? What? I'll give you two funnel cakes, we go two funnel cakes? What? Oh. Mm. I love you. What is this little tiny thing? Oh, look at you. What are you doing? What are you doing? What? What's that? Will you show me your belly? Well, let me see. Oh, yes. I can see all these spots. I can see all of them. Yes. I can see them. They're very beautiful. Now that I'm back home and Gracie got her little cookie, uh, I kind of want to get something to eat. And I was thinking about going back out, maybe going to one of the resorts, but kind of want to keep it local. And, you know, me and my friends uh, like Sean uh, and Kristen, we always call around and uh, check which uh, places have like a soup of the day. You know what I mean? We got a couple of our favorite little spots like Paisano's and Bella Tuscany and stuff like that. And I love a soup of a day. So I might call around and see what's going on today and that's honestly where we might decide on going to eat depending on what's the soup of the day Hello, how can I help you? hi what's the uh, soup of the day today we have clam chowder tonight clam chowder you got anything like chicken noodle-ish unfortunately not it's just that one for today no worries thanks so much i'll check back tomorrow Absolutely. thanks all right have a great night bye I don't feel like a clam chowder kind of day today. I've, I'm, I'm kind of looking for something brothy, a little bit, you know what I mean, like a chicken noodle, Italian wedding, pasta fagiole, something like that. I mean, honestly, at this point, I'm going to have to see if there's a couple of other our uh, favorite spots. If not, you can always rely on the good old OG, the good old Olive Garden, unlimited breadsticks and soups and salads. I'll do that all day, especially with the chicken gnocchi. So the day, we have shrimp fish and a velvety cauliflower and beef soup. Oh, that sounds fancy. Okay, thank you. It's also really funny because when you start like Googling stuff like soup near me, you get like Pinocchio's Village House, Pecos Bills, Captain Cook's. 
Like, isn't that funny? And then the Greek, Greek, Mediterranean grill in Olive Garden. Like, that's the suggestions. It's so, I, I mean, I love where I live. Well, I'm not seeing any good soup options available, so we might end up actually maybe going to get some wings. I wish we had wing bites, like back up in Pennsylvania. Listen, Drinker, uh, Drinker Pizza, they have the best wing bites ever. And then probably second close to that would be Nina's. But, oh man, there's days I would just eat wing bites all day. Around here, it's hard to get some of that good, good food, good Italian food, a good bar food, pizza, and stuff like that, only because it's major corporations. Not too many mom and pop shops, but if we find any, that's the places I want to go eat. That's where we got to eat. We made our way down to this little complex, and it's got bananas, axe cabanas, soup dumpling and noodles, Kitty O'Shea's Irish bar. This is my favorite spot for wings. This is a good old buffalo bar. Good wings, good, very good wings. Best wings I can get around this area. Yeah. That's true. I love their wings oh, here. So you think Kitty O'Shea's is just as good? The second best. Yeah, second best. Like but like awesome. the whole shit was funny because I got the Here they are, extra crispy, just the way I like it. Look at those. Me, Tommy, me, one wingy. They got little pretzel bites. It's a big pretzel, though. It's a very, it's a, a little buttery pretzel. It's amazing. I'm still going to town on these wings. I'm kind of already feeling a little hot. Very sensitive when it comes to spicy things. I like my wings mild, like not too spicy. But this right here, it's such a great combo. And with that chicken wing, I think we are done here today. I love Kitty's wings. And uh, if you guys ever, you know, find yourself over by Lake Buena Vista, uh, check them out. They've got some great wings. They're right next to... Uh, Disney Springs, like that old entrance that used to be Crossroads across the street till they demolished it. It's the next uh, shopping plaza over. Uh, and if you guys have any good suggestions for any uh, wings, pizza, or any good soup spots, especially in like Winter Garden, Windermere, let me know in the comments. I'll check them out. It's got to be like mom and pop shops. I don't want anything like too corporate, you know? I like uh, family recipes and, you know, stuff like that. And uh, yeah, I'm happy to be back into Florida for a little bit. I was traveling there and... Uh, doing a lot of stuff uh like outside of vlogging even <laughs> and, it was, and it's so strange because i haven't been posting many videos and that's because you know when i first started making these uh when i first started making the videos um i was just like you know making videos for my family and friends and uh other people started watching and then i was going to the parks and i was you know didn't have a lot of friends and stuff so it was great to you know have a camera to actually hang out with and a purpose and uh, it evolved into this major like awesome like lifestyle and platform that i can actually you know put something good into the world and positive videos and you know just you know brighten up people's days and i'm so honored and now i find myself like doing stuff and living life like to the best and to the fullest and like it's separate from like even like uh, making the videos and I'm like wow holy moly you know what I mean I used to like just you know wake up it was very cool and, and honestly I love that lifestyle uh, like wake up like you know go figure out what you want to oh my camera's falling around. like go follow go hang out and sig figure out what you want to do for the day uh, but now I have like other things it's like I'm uh, like evolving and getting more responsibilities and stuff like that and honestly it's great it blows my mind and it makes me happy to know that you know something so little can you know have such a huge impact in my life and it makes you you know appreciate the small things like I said I mean a lot of people probably looked at me with this YouTube channel Oh, way back. Oh, Nate's got like a little YouTube channel. I, I kept the, I, I felt the same way. And every milestone was important to me. My first hundred subscribers, stuff like that. Like, it's still crazy. Like, I used to think, wow, man, like 47 people watched the video. <laughs> you know what I mean? And uh, it, I, I really think it's awesome that uh, it can, it, it changed my life. It literally changed my life. And I'm so happy that some people have been here for the whole journey with me. And uh, yeah, I just want to say thank you. So I'm going to try to post some more videos, uh, but I do have some big travel plans coming up. And it's things that I am so excited to share with you guys. Like I said, it went from a little tiny channel to 
like the world. <laughs> Seeing the world. How did that happen? I'm going to be doing so many great things and <laughs> it's going to be a great 2024. It really is. And I'm excited to share it with all of you guys. I really am. So, anywho, I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. And uh, we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye, bus driver.